Oh, fantastic! Look at this. What an amazing surprise. Yeah. This could be a very, very good sign for for our winter coming up. Interesting, this Aina is looking quite dirty. Very full of dust and everything, so maybe it's been digging around a little bit and cleaning out the den again. Oh, this is a very good surprise. Now, it's not a definite that there's necessarily denning going on here. Might just be that the Sahina is just taking some time here and maybe resting here for a bit. But um, typically, Ahinas are quite happy just to sleep out in the bush if they want to rest. So the fact that there's activity at the den site here is very encouraging. We'll keep our eyes on this, obviously, for the next few days and the next few weeks and see what develops here. Mm, fantastic surprise. See that nostril just flaring open the whole time, just always just testing the breeze. Even when it's almost falling asleep. Alex the other day we were incredibly lucky last last winter and even into early summer Nahina's Dendi and they had three youngsters and they are almost as reliable as Hamgo the hippo so while they're denning here for quite a few months you can um, come past and normally there'll be some activity some days not much happening other days you'll have the young ones running around and chasing each other and playing with sticks and all kinds of things so we had some amazing sightings here really the, the ultimate way to experience and see us is to have a dense site like this so um, this is very exciting They're very, very dark hyena. This, like I said, it does look like it's full of dust. But just in general, it looks very dark. Well, thinking about all the potential things we'll see and our hyenas typically the alpha female will normally breed first if the conditions are good the second female will sometimes breed as well I normally have two youngsters I'm normally fine again there's variables in it but um, if the the first born is a female and the second born is a female as well that uh, first born will quite often try and kill or injure or Heard the second born, sometimes even while it's getting born. Fierce competition between females in the Oahina societies. It's a female dominant society where your lowest ranking female is still higher ranking than the than the highest ranking male. And also normally you find that you know, like I said earlier, the matriarchs are normally the ones that have the youngsters, and their young ones will normally inherit the position or the status of their mother. So that's why if they're both females the firstborn will normally try and oust or kill the, the secondborn if she's a female as well. But we'll have a lot more opportunity to talk a lot about different ways hyenas do their social structures and all kinds of activity when or if they stick around here. 
you can see the nails nicely in the foot as well quite often when we look at the tracks we mention that with your cats the nails are retractable lions and leopards you don't see any nails in the track the hyenas you do beautiful face I mean they've got such a bad rep unfortunately early documentaries in the 80s and 90s even always portrayed hyenas as these horrible sneaky cowardly animals which is obviously not the case they're amazing animals as well as I'm sure a lot of you that joined us from the early days of Wild Earth last season when we had a lot of hyena activity here you probably found yourself liking them quite quickly those of you that are joining us more recently if they do denya within a few months you'll be a big hyena fan as well nose and mouth there. Wondering if this is maybe different Ahina as well from from the previous group. Now the clans might move within the area as well, so it's not impossible or maybe it's just a different individual that we didn't see much. But I don't say Ahina doesn't have a familiar look to me from the ones I remember last last year. Look at that face. Quite an interesting black mark on the on the gums there. Oh, it's just turned. Hmm, beautiful view. You see, they're just behind the canine. It almost looks like a blackened canine tooth on the actually not on the gums. Sorry, on the lips. It's maybe got an injury on the foot there. You see, it's obviously trying to lick or clean a specific area there. bite mark or injury. Look at the beautifully reflected horizon as well on the eye there. Sniffing again. <laughs> Keeping us all the angles. What an amazing view of this one. to call this one black tooth it looks like a like a third very blackened canine tooth there this would certainly be the easiest way to recognize it again obviously unless the mouth is closed hello maybe it could just be resting here because of an injury I'm just looking at it now it looks like quite an old ahina See the leg there. Also Minus at, at all. Scars on the See the scar on the back there as well, but also, just mentioning just now, we broke up a little bit signal wise, but there's the old scar, some kind of fight or injury. But she's got a very big belly. Now it's obviously not impossible that she's eaten a lot recently, but the way it's sitting, sort of right down the way, just the belly's looking. Maybe we've got a chance for some youngsters in the future. <laughs> 